Welcome back to the Western Wilds on Farming Simulator 22 for episode 29. With me, Mr. Silly P. As you can see, perfect time for the thunder to start rolling. As you can see, we're into September and uh, it's pouring down. It's going to clear up. I'm actually, I don't know what time it's going to clear up. I should really have had a look at the weather forecast, shouldn't I? Let's have a look. What time is it going to clear up? Mm, it says by nine o'clock. What time is it now? 7.24. Not too long. Uh, what I thought I'd do, a bit of an update as to where we are. The, uh, out, uh, the outdoor gardens, <laughs> the gardens that we've got, have produced potatoes from well just yesterday it's not 100,000 litres obviously because we didn't put anything in them till about it was about four o'clock whatever time it was but we have got uh 40,000 litres I think we've got here so what I'm going to do is restock this and then the rest will go into storage but what I have been doing I ran everything through we had if you recall that field before I did anything with it um, we got about 119,000 litres of potatoes, no, 111,000 litres of potatoes off that, and there was 32,000 litres of potatoes from the outdoor gardens or the gardens from over there before we switched them all over. That's all been run through. There's 40 something thousand litres in here, and as you can see, we have got some more produce. We've got French fries. Move those out the point. Uh, French fries and premium potatoes running through this system, which is great. Uh, we did have the one thing of raisins. The rest of the raisins are being sent over to the food factory. So they're on distributing. So these I can sell. Each of these pallets of premium potatoes from this one are worth nearly a grand. So they're pretty good actually. But what I have done, ran all this, everything through there. So that's empty at the moment. And we have got in storage over here, um, we've got 53,000 litres of premium bags of potatoes, 42,000 litres of um, bagged seed potatoes, and just under what well, it should be 10,000 10,000 litres of pig food so this has run really really well so what I'm going to do is get all of this stuff into there and into there and out of the rain uh, we have got some pre-pruning to do on our grape vines I have leased no did I lease or buy it I might have leased the pruner and I've bought a sprayer to run down between here we'll talk about it in a bit I just want the weather to clear up a little bit um, so we're going to need to do that today. We are going to be doing our corn. Our corn is ready to harvest. If we go to our map and we go across to growth, corn's ready to go. So we should be doing the corn harvest. I need to get a corn header for the harvester. And we're going to put in, I think, the flour mill extended. I don't think we're going to dry corn in this one. We'll see how much we get. But I'm going to put that in here as well, I think. Um, I was going to put more cows in. I did say we're going to do corn and cows. But our sheep have reproduced, so they've doubled. We've now got 160. Hang on. What did it say there? Yeah. So our sheep have doubled. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out the newborns and put those 80 into the other sheep pen. So I'll keep the two lots separate. Um, and then probably the cows, uh, if I get enough time to do all that. Move all that to there and we'll throw it in. Yeah, we'll see what happens with the weather. So I'm going to start putting all this into here. I did put a couple of big spotlights in as well. You can see that one there and that one there. Because I was working quite late doing all of this. And then when I went to bring all the potato boxes, I couldn't see anything. <laughs> so I put a couple of big spotlights in. Why not? Might as well. So I don't know if this is going to pick up four or not. Might have the lift capacity for doing four. It does. It's a meat joke. Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay, let's swing to the side and see if we can just do. No, that's taking too many. 
There we go. A little bit too close. So because we have got this installed, the um, seed potato farm, I said this a while back, rather than our gardens producing 1,000 litre pallets, we're getting 2,000 litre boxes. So these are the boxes that normally, if you set this on boxing rather than bagging, these are the boxes you'd get. So at the moment, these aren't anything in particular, just regular old potatoes. So we'll put them all through there and, and then we'll get the processing done. So this is going to take a little bit of time, I'll get this done. Um, the other thing I wanted to check, I wanted to test, because I had a message and I can't remember who it was from. I do apologise. I'm going to try and find it because I, I do, where possible, try and give people a shout out for uh, for helping me out. Was it Chris? It might be Chris. Um, if I go onto here, buildings, and we go along to our farmhouses, I'm not sure. No, that one. Farmhouses. Let's see if we can put portable bag trigger. Ah, now there's a thing. I had no idea and it didn't, I'm sure it didn't say it in the notes. Now, I've already got my cabin placed and Chris messaged me to say, did you know after the update on FS22 you can place more than one farmhouse on the map? And I messaged back and said, I didn't know that. Um, and I thought, well, maybe it's sometimes some maps allow you to, or, you know, it could be a PC thing, I don't know. Um, I've already got my, my sleep trigger. If we go to our map, You'll see, well, in amongst all this somewhere. But in amongst all the beehives, there's a sleep trigger there. You know, my little log cabin. And the fact I just tried to place another sleep trigger and it didn't come up saying only one is allowed per farm. Looks like we can place multiple sleep triggers now. Hmm. It's nearly 20 past nine. <laughs> I've got the cloud up the top. The rain bit's gone up the top right. But it is still raining and thundering a little bit, so I need to just need to wait for the rain to stop um, and then the corn to dry out a little bit. I've grabbed the trailer, I've bought a corn, did I buy the corn header or Lisa? I bought a corn header. Um, I've got kind of get everything into place where I need it. I've also put the first couple of bells into the mixer wagon that I've got, or the mixer back for the pickup. I'm going to put the new cow pasture in. I was going to add to the ones we've got. Those The cow pasture I've got holds 80 and I've got 40 in there. So what I've got at the moment, when they reproduce, that will fill completely. So what I want to do is I do another one and put another 40 in the second one. So I'll have two running. Um, yeah, I think that's what we'll probably do. So what I need to do first is the ones here, the newborns, select and we're going to do, because this holds 50, move to trailer. And then it'll be another 30. So I'm going to take these and put these the other side. I have taken the liberty of already putting a bit of grass in. I don't know if I'll need some more. And then, yeah, so it'll be another 30 after this. And then if they reproduce again, I have got room behind. But I have No, I haven't anymore, have I? I wonder if I've got room to put one here. I mean, maybe I can get another one in. We'll see how we go with, with reproduction of them. That turned a little bit, just need to get the trailer out a bit. There we go. If I try that, select 50, move to husbandry. Brilliant. That's looking a bit better, isn't it? Uh, so we get another 30 in, then we'll get the cow barn put in. I think I'm going to leave the pruning, the great pruning, to the next episode. Um, as you can see on the John Deere, our tractor pulling. The tractor pull John Deere. I've got our hardy sprayer. I've got the pruner. Does that say it's owned, is it? Yeah, rented by. I thought I'd rented that. If we go to here, so I know I keep showing these menus all the time, and I know probably people are getting fed up with seeing them. But um, yeah, we're up to 896 thousand litres of silage grass is chugging away as per usual i did cut all my grass fields the ones that i'd done myself bought some here and put some more into the other silo if we scroll down this one so my my straw production i had straw silage running sorry this side um yeah i had grass silage hay silage and straw silage running that's not silage digestate i'm running 
but uh, where is it? Yeah, digestate liquid fertilizer. So the digestate I'm producing here is now being made into liquid fertilizer as well. 498 litres now. That's pretty good. So once that hits 4,000, <laughs> it will do at some point. I can fill that sprayer up. So I'm producing solid fertilizer, liquid fertilizer, our own seed. It's going well. This is still chugging away. No, it's not. That's done. Brilliant. Okay. So let's turn that off. Lime production's full. Turn that off. I'm still producing lime. I'm not selling it directly. I'm still storing it and then selling a load every now and again when I want to. So that's all going great. Right, let's put the next 30 of these in. Don't know why I decided to reverse all the way back. That seems a bit ludicrous, but hey, why not? So yeah, that silo there has got a load of solid fertilizer and a load of seed in it. Well, a load of seed, well, 100,000 litres is a pretty good amount of seed. And I think what I'll do, I think I've still got barley left. Our wheat field is just over there when that's ready to harvest. I'm probably going to keep the wheat for the chickens and then the barley I will then produce into seed as well. Oh, we've still got to do the mega field yet. Let's put sorghum in that. So we want those ones again. And 30. Move to trailer. Yes. So we should have 18 each now. I will just check to make sure I've got enough grass in there as long as I have. That'd be brilliant. Yay, the rain stopped. And then, uh, well, as we drive over, as soon as I've got this trailer, rather than give it back and then do cows, then release it again, we'll do we'll do the new, new cow barn today as well. Let's move those over. Move to husbandry. Job done. Brilliant. So, let's just check in our menu. Uh... Oh yeah, they're fine. So me putting some in ahead of time, 12,500 litres of grass. That one might need topping up a little bit. So I'll be getting wool from both from as well now. Well, uh, do I get wool from the... Not sure. From newborns. Do they take a while before they're ready to produce wool? I know they take a while before they're ready to reproduce, but I don't know about produce wool. Um, Topics rational, carry on doing that. I did put both vehicles under the cover because it was pouring down. It looks like the weather's improving. I'm feeling corny. No, too much. <laughs> oh dear. So, let's put this in. There we go. So, second one's in. There's nothing in there yet, so we can open that up. So we're going to put total mix ration, straw, my water container's there, so all I'll do is just bring the water container back with some fours and fill up as I need to, and I've got a water point just there by the corner of that one. I put them in wherever I need water. It just makes more sense now. I have a standpipe wherever you need it. I did leave myself enough room here. I'm also thinking, I don't know if I've got enough room. Hmm, potentially. If I moved a few more of these trees, <laughs> moved them, just, just, yeah, just shuffle them on a little bit, then I could potentially put another one of these in but swing it around the other way so the actual fence is up against the water line I'm just thinking because my field's there I could maybe fit another one in not at the moment but so that's my other cow one so I'm going to go get some more cows let's go and get 40 cows we've got 40 in that one we've got 40 in this one so we've yeah exactly so we've doubled everything up and then what I'll do on the way past actually I'll do the cows first then we'll get the corn going We'll get the harvester running. I just bought a Capello Quasar. Again, I think I bought it. When we go over to it, I'll, I'll have a look and we'll see. I'm sure I did. I was going to try and get ahead of it. I could match the colour, but... And it's a 9 metre. I didn't go for the 12 metre. What's that? The HS16 is the 12 metre, isn't it? I think I've gone for the HS12, I want to say. <laughs> I think so. Can go across. So as you can see, I did cut all this grass. I didn't show you the other silo, but that's all done. Yeah, interesting news that about the um, about placing a second sleep trigger. I didn't know that, unless I, I'm sure I read through the, the patch notes. And I don't recall it saying. Let's just double check this on the way past. I'm not losing my mind. Yeah, owned by Capello Diamond Twelve. There we go. 
so nine meter. Did I leave the engine running? I did. <gasps> Silly boy. The other thing I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to do it now. It all seems very kind of all over the place, but I have all these things stored in my head of what I want to do. And then I start doing things and think, oh, hang on, I forgot to do something. So I'm going to buy this plot. So as I said, I was going to do with these. Once I'd harvested them once, I was going to extend that way. But then I bought all of those and did that field that way. What I'm going to do with this one, I'm going to buy this plot here. And then once I've done the corn harvest, I'm going to, when I either cultivate it or get rid of it, I'm going to plough so I'll have a nice long field here. I don't want to put corn back in it again. I suppose, I know when I watch like Cold Corn Star and we watch, I watch Millennial, uh, Millennial Farmer and a lot of the guys, you know, and they'll do corn and beans or whatever they're doing, and they'll do corn and corn, corn and beans, so the year after they'll be putting a different crop in or so you can do corn on corn I know it's not crop rotation but the thing is as well when you think about it if you're only doing two crops on your farm there's only a limited amount of crop rotation you can do I don't think people really leave fields fallow anymore like not like they used to I don't suppose it was, it was more of a thing I'm glad the sheep have, have um I say reproduce so quickly it hasn't been quickly we've had sheep for quite a while haven't we I suppose it's just me mentally thinking Oh, that was quick. Uh, do I get a different breed or do I get the same? What do we reckon? I've got brown Swiss, haven't I? Should I go with Holsteins? Yeah, you know what? Let's go with Holsteins. Uh, we want to go 50? No, 40. Oh, and there's 36 cows. So I'm going to have to come back for another four. Yeah, I did that last time, didn't I? Uh, bye. Cool, we are loaded. I could have just, oh, I'll just drive around the back. I could just swing around here, of course, as well. As long as I come nice and wide on my exit. We're fine. Right. See you over there. Get these unloaded. I was going to say, I, would, I, I did say I would see you over there, but what we need to do, I'm just thinking as we're driving over, we need... I wonder if we'll fit in there. Cows will be fine for a couple of minutes. We need our, well, say corn facility. Let's go into our productions. We are going to put in the flour milk extended. I was going to go for the, um, the dry corn add-on, but I don't think I'm going to at the moment. Diesel production, I haven't got. My canola's not ready, nor is my soybean. We have got sunflowers on the go. When I look at maybe doing diesel production, which I might do further down the line, I'm going to get a couple more greenhouses, or I might switch over some of the, a couple of the, maybe one of the lettuce, one of the tomatoes, and have four running sunflower. Hmm, maybe. Uh, where is it? Grey meal plus. That's it, isn't it? So we can do cracks, corn and corn meal. Actually, it's not as big as I thought it was going to be. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Will it fit in that gap? It will, actually. What's it overlapping with? Can I do a bit back there? Ah, I do this every single time. Hang on. I need to know where the markers are. Otherwise, I could push it up against something and then can't access it. Production... Right, triggers are at the front, spawn points at the front, nothing at the rear. Brilliant, okay. So we'll push that back a little bit into there. What's that now overlapping with? I think that's about as good as we're going to get. Is that way a little bit? Boom. Excellent stuff. So yeah. We can look at doing that as well now. We click on this. We have got wheat flour, barley flour, oat flour, sorghum flour, because we're going to do sorghum. Um, mo most of these, I didn't get enough crop really. I was doing seed, I'm feeding the chickens, but we can do cornmeal and crack corn. So the corn I'm producing, I can bring it in here and we can produce both of those, which I've never done before either. Um, are we going to do... 
we can't do corn flour. I've got a little bit of barley. Do I want to do flour as well? We could do some flour. Maybe wait until that wheat field's done, or I don't, we'll have a think. I'm trying to, I'm trying to split my crops between so many different things. How much actually have I got here? Water slurry and yeah, the slurry manure from our outhouse. It's not a massive amount, but that, like I say, that will keep going. Right. Let's get these cows delivered, and then we'll get the corn going. That fits in there really nicely. Might need to trim that back a little bit. Don't want the branches growing through the house, do we? At uh, the house, but I suppose, yeah. The facility. Because I cut this lovely clear way through here, by wood chipping, I've given myself a bit more space. I'm going to do a little bit more landscaping here and there, where we've just put in the corn thing and where the tracks meet here. Put a couple of tracks across. Let's put the first 36 in, then we'll get the others, and then I'll sort out. Getting that Tomix ration done, and then we will get the corn done. Before the episode, I hope to get some corn into our mill and at least get one pallet of each, hopefully. That should do there. Select. Move to husbandry. Yes, please. Now I'll close the gate. They're very vocal. Uh, we'll go back the way we can, actually. I need to move all this forestry equipment. It's just sitting. I suppose what I could do is put another shelter in, have my forestry equipment stored. Um, I need to do some more forestry at some point, not just wood chipping, but I need to do some logging. Uh, because my North Sawmill, it's not running low, I think we're on about 80,000 litres, which is amazing. I think it takes just under 100,000 litres, but um, I think I need to uh, sort that out. So anyway, well, I'm going to get the last four, and next time you see me, we'll be producing the next load of Tomix ration, and then we'll get that put in, then we'll get the straw bedding put in, and I'll top up the water. That'll be the cows done, and then we'll get on with this corn. Last four in. Let's get them fed and bedded down. I said I've done the first two bales already in here. Um, this holds uh, was 50,000 litres. 50,000 litres. Four of these will be 24,000, which is half the mix. Then I'll do about 12,500 of silage, 12,500 of straw. That's the mix I'm doing. Like I said before, don't have to do it that way. You can do it with mineral feed, you can do just silage and um, hay. You don't have to have straw into the mix, it's in touch you what you want to do. Let's leave it there for the time being. Go and put the rest of the mix in here. And then like I said, once I run out of bales, what I might then do is switch over production to that building and we'll run total mix ration through that. But as it stands at the moment, everything I need I have got in this building here. This building, this silo. Um, so what's that gonna take me up to? 37 and a half. 36 and a half. Mm. Straw. That's right, isn't it? Four, five, six, seven. That'll do. And then I think I might have some silage in here still. I've still got some silage stored in here. I'm just trying to mop up all the odds and ends I've got dotted around all over the place. Uh, let's click on that. Yeah, 25,000 litres. So the rest of it, we should get to, please turn to Tommy Traction. There we go. Tommy Traction. Fantastic. That's a nice mix. We'll get that in. If I've got any left over, I'll top up the other pen. Oh, those lined up pretty well, actually, didn't they? Do the water, then I'll come back and we'll get some straw in as well. So, spin it round. Obviously, you don't need to drive up and down, but that's the fun. Corn and cows. There's some sheep thrown in. Might 
actually using this. And it made two loads last time, did I? I'm trying to remember what I did. I got it. Okay. Looks like it. That's interesting. Let's have a look. Uh, we want cow barn. Oh, yeah. So if I do another mix, I'll do another mix off camera. I'll top them both up. Uh, so let's get water and straw in here. Let's get some straw. I should be able to tip it out of this, shouldn't I? I think I can. Uh, we've got a trailer hitch on the back of this, so what we'll do, we'll do the water while we're here. Oh, why is that not hooking up to that? Hmm, that's interesting. Pretty sure the other one worked. Oh well. Let's get some straw in here. I don't think it really matters which one I go to. Any straw I don't use, I'll put back. Okay. Oh, the temptation to say it's all going really well. <laughs> in here. Um, yeah, it's time to get some appearing over there. Have I put enough in? That's the question. <laughs> I've got enough to get them started anyway. I'll have to top these up later. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Are we going to be there? Just keep looking to my left. Nope. <laughs> Woefully underestimated. Okay, so the, the water and the straw and the Tommy's ration I will just top up and then we can get our corn going. We should be drying down. The thing you've got to bear in mind as well, I know I say it every other episode, every episode. Because um, I know sometimes people, sometimes people will comment. I, I know, because I always think ahead of what are people like to say. As I'm saying stuff, as I'm doing stuff, what are people likely to comment? What are people likely to say? And it has been raining and people are likely to say, well, you know, if you've just gone from doing that, there's no way the corn will be dry yet. But you've got to remember as well, I've got one day months. So this is representing a month. I know it's one day of gameplay, but it's representing a month. So the other thing, the other way of looking at it is saying, well, between me doing the rain stopping, doing this and doing that, it could be a few days have passed, a couple of days. It, not necessarily, whilst it is hours, it's representing a month. So that's how I kind of reconcile it. Rightly or wrongly. The new cows are fed and watered. As you can see, they're all feeding. The old, old cows, the older cows are topped up. I have also, and this is going to work, my manure heap that was at this end, I have moved and put in the gap here. I've also removed my standpipe and put the standpipe at that end. I don't know, hmm, I don't know if we're going to get any manure in that, simply because we've got the trigger for the slurry there, we've got the gate there. We'll see. If we get any manure in it, brilliant, because it fits in there just perfectly. That's the one, I think that's the Bavarian one, isn't it? I'm sure it's the Bavarian one. Hmm. We'll see. So, and I put in the shelter for my logging equipment. The lorry needs to be put back over. I was just thinking, do I need a third lorry? Probably not. <laughs> I'm doing what I did, like I said before, in FS15, um, where I've got I've got my logging equipment and I need a, a lorry to go with the trailer. I've got a tractor for the stump grinder and I mean technically I don't I can just bring them over when I need them the trailer needs to be there and the actual logger needs to be there but the rest doesn't right now we're onto corn we're going to get the corn done I haven't even dared look at what my I'm just saying dawned on me my slot count I haven't 
I've got 4,400 to play with. Now, what you got to remember is, well, we were 1,299 previously. And um, I came close a few times. Nothing like what I'm doing here. I mean, this is just, this is built a farm completely from scratch, but dare I have a look? I know every time I've gone into the menu, I, I probably should have done. Oh, 2,243. Mind you, still got plenty to play with. It's, it's not like, you know, I'm not up near the limit. That's good. <clears throat> so, let's get some corn done. Lovely. thinking do I say anything about the next episode I'm thinking if I extend this film film filled extend this to the mega field and then so we could do pruning and plowing I think the mega field we'll, we'll aim at that I think no what are we doing turn it on <laughs> turn it on there we go I, I might have got away with the 12 meter header I'm not sure that I would have done now it's going to be interesting to see both my wheat and my barley fields or well, both times I've done that type of crop. I've got about, oh I can't remember how much it was now, every time I do it I completely forget. My oat field was a smaller one, it was one out on the edge by the railroad track so it was a little bit less anyway. I'm curious to see kind of how much we're going to get off of this really. I said I might silage forage harvest some of it. I've got silage coming out of my ears. I don't need to silage harvest this. I'm just doing this purely for the corn. This is going to need ploughing as well, I'm just thinking the crop types that need ploughing. Yeah. So lovely new grain mill in the background. right off this one you know there'll certainly be plenty of corn over there I don't know whether to split it or to put some into storage we'll see how much we get because I want to do cracked corn and cornmeal we might have a go at doing some dried corn I don't want to put like if what you know 100,000 150,000 litres whatever I'm going to end up with I don't want to put it all in there to do cracked corn and cornmeal if I could utilise other things as well. I'm just trying to try as many different things as possible. It's also kind of exploratory and finding out which things work well, which things have got good operating speeds, you know. Kind of live testing really, I suppose. I guess I could set this off on a worker and get on with the pruning now, but I've done a bit already. Yeah, you know, frontage. Oh yeah, trees. I <laughs> just thought of another thing. I was supposed to be planting trees, wasn't I? And I've just realised I've put that shed right up against the edge, so if I do plant trees along this edge, mind you the back of it's green, so it kind of it will blend in. We'll put a line of trees along there.
I'm just looking at the overlap here. I'm... How did I manage to do that? If this plot runs directly up and lines up with the plot above... Let's check the map a second. Right, so... There's our edge here. There's our edge there. Our field here, we've gone across the line, haven't we? We've definitely gone across the line. So if I come straight up here from this field to double this up into 14, that field, as we've gone over the edge a little bit, haven't we? Just looking ahead, we've definitely gone across. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of a, a, little bit of a jink here. I have to go out to the side a little bit and then up, maybe. But it will still... We'll still double it, pretty much. Our sugar cane's growing well. Climate's obviously just right. Just waiting for it to get like really tall. That's going to be an interesting one. So right, twelve thousand is right. Okay, I'm going to get this get this cracking on. I don't know whether or not when I do my first unload, rather than wait for it to be complete, I might take the first lot over to the grain mill. And then we can get that already chugging away. So by the time we finish the field, we might have a couple of pallets. I think the processing speed's 1200, is it? I'm sure it said 1200. So we'll have a look. First full load. Let's roll. We haven't got far to go. I don't know if I want to take any more trees. I'm just looking over there thinking, I know a couple of people mentioned and said, oh, you know, you should, if you're going to do wood chipping, oh no, I've got some there, right? That might be right. Um, you should maybe wood chip all the trees to give yourself a much more, I, I like much more open area. I'm not finishing a thought. Uh, much more open area. I like it with the trees. I might remove a few trees if, no, I have done a couple of times when there's been buildings I've wanted to put in, haven't quite had the, the room or the placement. But I like having it kind of encompassed by trees generally. I think that's a, it's a, you know, not there's anything wrong with buildings on the skyline or anything like that, but I know a lot of companies now, a lot of um, sort of that multinationals, you know what I mean? Even down to small companies, when they're building new industrial estates and stuff, they will often either put um, banks of earth, which they're, they're in grass, so like from the road or wherever you can't necessarily see them, or if you're looking across the countryside, there'll be trees round so again you can't necessarily see um, just so it's not a blot on the landscape so to speak you know okay. it's going down I might just put 30 well, just, yeah just under 30,000 is it 29,000 we'll get it running uh, and see how we go I haven't even looked to see what the price is. Let's have a look at the prices, just out of curiosity. Again, a lot of times I'm not, I'm not too bothered about the prices. It's more, as you can see, we've got a lot of eggs stored. Um, I've just been putting those into storage as I've been going. But it's more about the processes. I want to just give all these different processes a go. Where are we? I'm all, there's so much stuff on here now. <laughs> Scrolling down this list. There we go. Uh, dried corn. It's all right. Cracked corn, one four, corn meal one five. What what's it paying for? Just regular, regular old corn, straight from the field. Although I have got that boost thing on, haven't I? Uh, train yards one four four eight. So I guess you could argue, why don't you just sell the corn? <laughs> I suppose that's also the problem when you've got um. Oh, he's off. When you're running multiple um, productions and you're running multiple sell points and you're running, you know, you know, various different things, I might take more of the fences out from around it though. I'm not sure I like it being fenced in. There's bushes and stuff around this. You've got a bit of a boundary, but I don't know. I might take some out. Let's get this in. Let's get it producing. If I only do this one load, at the end of the day, it's still a grain mill, so I can still do my flour here. I can still run that as a process. So if I only do a little bit of cracked corn and cornmeal, just to do the process, I can still bring anything else here I want to to do my flour. So when I've got my sorghum and all that kind of stuff, I can bring it here. We can get flour production underway. We can sell the flour. 
We can sell our corn and crack corn directly if we want to. If I want to do the dried corn, we can get that facility and do that. I also have over at my my building over there. Uh, I can do corn silage if I want to do corn silage because obviously you normally you can you can do a silage harvest. It just chops it all up, so no reason why you can't do it. So it does it in that silo over there. So I could take some of it and still do silage if I want to, or I could just store it and then decide what I'm going to do later. Because you never know what might pop up. All sorts of cool stuff happens. And then you get all these different options of things you never thought possible before. So let's have a look. Click on here. Let's do corn mill and crack corn. And we'll see what happens. Possibly by the time we've got the field done, we might have a pallet of each. Maybe i take a little bit longer, but that's not a problem if it does. It's processing. We'll just see, I guess. Uh, probably a bit good. Idea. <laughs> I can walk back and I can always try and get corn and cut my hands and <laughs> fill my hands up and run back with some forwards, but I think probably a trailer would be a better idea. I suppose what I could be doing, I never really do it while it's going on, but we've got enough tractors now, I can start ploughing, or no, mulching. Let's get mulching first. Probably doesn't help having that on there. Let's come along that way, and I can avoid that front trailer. There we go. We get a mulching underway. I'll use a slightly faster tractor. Get a mulching done really quick. There's a new mod that's popped up. Mods have been dropping very early the last couple of days. Yesterday I didn't do a mod review because um, there was one mod. There was a few updates and one mod. Today, what time is it now? At the time of recording this, it's 11.43. And mods have already dropped. I don't know if we're going to get into trouble. It's all, I'm always very wary when that happens. Because mods generally drop around 3pm here in the UK anyway. I'm always a bit wary and think, oh, you know... OK, I'll jump on this early, I'll get the mod review done and get it up. But then what happens if they drop more at 3 o'clock? You know, I, I'm always a little bit, oh, what do you do, kind of thing. Let's pop that there. We're going to get the mulcher, we'll get the mulching going. And then what we'll do, we'll get the rest of that finished and we'll see if we've got a couple of pallets over there. But I will get the mulching started. I'll probably grab the John Deere, actually, the new John Deere, because that's a bit... It's a bit naughty off the line, isn't it? It's a bit, a bit sporty. I've just got to check something here. Yeah, my computer seems to have completely frozen. That's a worry. I can't afford a new PC. Not. No. Don't do this to me. We'll mulch first, then I'll fertilise, then I'll plough. Whoop. <laughs> just destroyed it. Uh, just take it up in the grass out, but it's all right. Mulching? Yeah, we're taking the stalks down. Cracking those stalks. Oh, that's interesting. Maybe 22 is the fastest it will go. I thought this thing, I'm pretty sure this went the speed of the vehicle. Ah, I can't knock it at 22. That's still pretty good. Because when I was running it on the... Um, the Deutz farm. I'm sure it was running the full speed of the Deutz file, which was 24. I do a couple of little boundary bits. I can't mind if I don't go over the corn. I don't want to be, don't want to be mulching that back into the ground, do we? Do a little bit there. What's my width? We might be alright. Just got to be a little bit careful. I thought I harvest would stop then, it's still going. Ah, 
have to say I love the class and I love the, having the bait beam back which I haven't really used all that much but I love this thing this is just it's amazing I do like an LSW don't know why Careful. Our work up, get the rest of that going. Just try and look over there, see if there's any pallets. I'm looking my head up. <laughs> Ooh, no. I'm going to miss a bit. I'm too far over. There we go. It's 11.35. Our cornfield is cleared. It has been mulched. It has been fertilised. We are good to go for the next step. I've got 87,299 litres in the back of here. And we've already taken one load of just over 29,000. That puts me at around 116,500, 117,000 litres. That, I'm, this is what I was saying earlier, that's what I'm puzzled about. I'm sure that's what I got for barley. <laughs> And I'm sure that's what I got for wheat the first time round. So, I thought they were supposed to have different yields. I thought... <laughs> I, I thought... <laughs> stupidly. Anyway, right, I'm going to leave the stuff over there, the 30,000 litres, that's going to run. What I suddenly remembered, we're not going to get pallets of uh, cracked corn. The cracked corn pallets you can buy, the cracked corn stores in the silo. Um, but the corn mill comes out on pallets. I think it's that way around. Uh, but the cornmeal pallets, if I recall correctly, were what like 4,000, 5,000, or like 6,000. They were, they were big pallets, weren't they, with a lot of huge capacity. So I'm pretty sure, we'll just take a quick quiz over. I'm not going to be anywhere near that kind of level yet. That's going to be oh, mid to late afternoon, I guess. You can buy pallets of cracked corn. If the chickens on the map you're on take it. Some maps do I think some maps don't. It's just taking I'm not gonna put any more in like I say. We'll leave it as it is, but at the moment we're looking at 755 litres of cornmeal and 1259 litres of cracked corn. I think it's that way around, isn't it? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, the cracked corn, that symbol, is in that silo. So you can come and collect it loose. So the only thing we would get would be pallets of cornmeal, but I'm pretty sure they're, they're big capacity. So uh, we'll have to wait until probably the next episode to collect those. I've now got a harvester and a header to do a bit of preventative maintenance on. A bit of jet washing, jet wash a few bits of equipment. We have moved the sheep, we have put in a new cow pasture, we've bought new cows, 
We have fed and watered them. We've done the corn harvest. It has that, just has this look in the air, like it's just going to start pouring me rain again. I don't think that's just the cloud or a bit of haze. It just I keep thinking it's going to start raining. I did check the weather. It's not supposed to. It just, just feels like it's going to. Oh, that was the thing I was going to check before we finish. I had quite a few comments left on the last episode regarding <laughs> um, my use of the silo to put potatoes into. And a lot of people said, why did you bother bagging them just to put them straight into a silo, which will put them back as regular potatoes? Brilliant how manure pit is working. That's good. As far as I can tell, as far as I'm aware, and when I showed the silo, I what was that at the start of this episode I showed it? Um, it's storing everything separately. So as far as I can tell, and as far as I'm aware, when I go to take the stuff out, I will get... It will be a loose product, but it, it was... I know it's weird. It was previously bagged. So it will still be considered bagged premium potatoes or bagged seed potatoes. We should still get the price of them, even though we've technically taken them out of the bags. Does that make sense? I, I think it's... Mm, I'm going to whiz over and we'll check it. I think that's probably where we'll finish up. So like I said, next episode will be uh, pruning and ploughing. Um, I don't know whether... I'm... I'm going to cut the grass on field 14 that we bought, or plot 14, should I say. Uh, do I need to take over the trailer? Probably not. I can just whiz over with this. I'm going to keep letting the digestate chug away and turn into liquid fertiliser. And hopefully we'll have enough to do a bit of spraying over there as well. Parking up all my stuff. I'm glad I've got plenty of storage for everything now. I seem to be uh, hopefully keeping on top of that. I've got quite a bit of equipment now. Which is brilliant. Let's whiz over. I hope this works now. This is... Um, have I got corn in here? Oh, what? 21 litres. Oh, I can put that into that silo, can't I? <laughs> I'll have 21 litres the weird amount of corn just sat in the silo over here. Have I got any equipment left over here that I need to take back? I don't think so. I'll we'll stop and have a bit of lunch. Do a bit of mowing of field 14 and then we'll crack on with um, crack on with pruning and ploughing, I guess. I'm not sure I'd like those spotlights, you know. I thought they'd be okay but I think they're just a bit much. Another thing I need to do is put the flat back on this um, and whiz round and pick up all these odd... I've got like, pallets of odd bits and bobs here and there, haven't I? I can probably do with just picking up and we'll, uh, we'll sort them out. I really hope this works. I don't know if anyone noticed as well, um, I, I, I uprooted the shed and moved it that way a little bit. Or that way a little bit. What way did I move it? I moved it a little bit, whichever way, um, so that he, all three of these were between posts. Because the way I had it, I think I had a post here and I was still unloading the right, but it was just a bit of a nuisance when it was dark as well. So I um, I just adjusted it slightly. I'm going to take those spotlights out. You know. I'll get I'll get the uh, demolition team in. We'll get it done. Right. So let's tip that into there. Let's just double check. Just for the peace of mind of everyone that commented and myself, <laughs> if I click on that now. And we scroll across. We should get to. So that's potatoes. Sugar beets. Please, 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 please. There you go. Seed, that's bagged seed potatoes. And then we should have premium potatoes bagged. There you go. So it does put them separately. Let's put them into there. And bottom right, if you look, it has the potato symbol with the plus, which is the bag the premium ones, I hope. Yeah, it's still the same bagged premium potatoes. So as far as I can tell. They'll go into there and they'll store fine. When we take them back out, I know once I put them into a silo, what, what's the difference between... In real life, what would be the difference? I've bagged them and I've thrown them in there. If I didn't bag them and throw them in there, the only difference is with the actual storing of them, it registers as whether they're bagged or not. The bags gives you a better price, so I know they're not still in bags, but that's just it. That's how it's worked. <laughs> um, oh, I've got more potato boxes. They're ready to go. 
Um, I have been doing some t- rigorous testing I, I, on the previous episodes I've said about this. I've been getting five boxes of these per potato garden uh, up the top per day. That's 10,000 litres per one. Over there I was getting 80,000 litres of potatoes per day. So 10 of these will give me 100,000 litres. A couple of people commented to say I should be getting 100,000 litres for five of these. That's not what I've been getting. I, I've, I mean, that's not what's been happening. Unless, of course, I put on the production four. Where are we? At the moment, I've got, if, I think if you do the, the threes together and the singles together, because when I did the mix, I did all the things that said potato, it didn't work. But whether or not, if I do potato seed and solid fertilizer, as well as potato seed and manure, then if I would, I say, I would assume it would double up. Um, so far, every time I've tried to double up anything or get more production, it hasn't worked. So as it stands at the moment, that's what I've been getting. I'm more than happy with 100,000 litres a day. Uh, I might do a test on one of them, bring some fertilizer over, stick it in, put one of them onto that as well, and see if I get double the amount of potatoes from one of them. Can't hurt, can it? Um, I might do, I'll set that up off screen and then we'll come back and have a look. So with that, we've come to the end of another episode. I will see you on the next one. Where will we go next? I'm looking forward to this. I keep saying the sugar cane. Uh, the mega field, we've got to do that. That's going to be the next episode. Um, sugar cane, we'll then have sugar mill. Uh, I think we can do... Is it sugar syrup? Is that with the sugar mill? If I use the one from the packing facility. I think so. So we could do some of that as well. There's loads more to do. Um, so down here. See you on the next one. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.